So we have invited all of the school superintendents across the Piedmont Triad to come on the Fox 8 Morning News to talk about the year ahead. Today, we have Tricia McManus with the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. Cool. You're yes. superintendent. You have been here in the role for what, two years now? This is my third year. Third year. Third year. Third mm -hmm. year now. So um, you have, there have been a lot of changes, a lot of successes. So this past school year started in August. Tell me what you, what you have. I mean, oh. I, we don't have four hours. Yeah. <laughs> I could talk about it for four hours, so I'm glad you said that. We've, we've had a lot of great successes as the year has rolled out. Um, just from the time we received some of our end of year results for last, from last year this summer into the, this, this start of this school year. And in a couple weeks, we're going to be doing a mid-year report uh, for our Board of Education, really highlighting a lot of the successes. Um, but we hit the ground running, uh, what, a few days ago back? Yep. And it feels like vacation never happened because we've <laughs> had so much going. But I'm excited about this second half of the school year and, and our focus on our kids being future ready. Tell us about future ready. What, what does future ready mean to, to so many folks out there? Yeah, so being future ready um, really means that our students leave our schools um, with the durable skills necessary to succeed in future employment and, and future life. And it's basically having them demonstrate the durable skills that are in our portrait of a graduate, which is also the North Carolina portrait of a graduate. And those include skills like adaptability, collaboration, creativity, communication. Um, there, there's about seven of those skills. And, and so we're working hard to have our ch kids be future ready when they leave us. And that starts in pre-K. Yeah. So that starts developing those skills as early as pre-K. That's amazing to think about, you know, you can, you can get kids future ready when they're, you know, five years old. Yeah, it starts there. And so we have to see those durable skills playing out every day in our classrooms, um, in our athletic events, ev everywhere. And so we're really focused on this idea of future ready. And we have three core initiatives for how we're gonna get there. And I know at the beginning of the year when I started, what uh, was on the program, I talked a little bit about those, um, but we're really moving full speed ahead on our three core initiatives that will help our kids be future ready. So those core initiatives are? Core initiatives are honestly deeper learning. And yes. that really means uh, instructional excellence in our classrooms every day. Um, it's our code of character conduct a support and its inclusionary practices and those are the three main initiatives that we work on every day wonderful so 2024 is our, you said you hit the ground running what do you want to see come June when graduations happen oh my gosh we have so many we have so many goals set but honestly uh, you know our one of our, our major goals is around all of our kids being proficient readers by third grade. We're going to keep working on that. So I'd love to see those numbers continue to improve. We had major improvements um, at the end of last school year. So I'm, I'm hoping those, you know, triple or quadruple. Um, I, I would like all of our students, I'd, I'd like to see our students, even more students uh, feel a sense of belonging mm -hmm. as the school year um, progresses. And we measure that through our panorama data. And, and it's a survey that we just gave and we'll give it again at the end of the year. So I want to make sure all of our students feel a sense of belonging in our schools. And that will lead to, um, you know, to, to fewer discipline referrals, to better attendance. We've been focused on getting kids in school more, so our chronic absentee numbers have also uh, decreased, which is a good thing. Um, so we just, I, I just want success for all of our kids. That, that is what we strive for every day. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you I so much. I appreciate it, and I look forward to doing more What's Right with Our Schools in Winston-Salem for Side County. Sounds great. Thank all you right. so much.